Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. I'm so pleased to welcome Dr. Osario, a physician, businessman, and leading force in biotechnology. Thank you so much for joining us today at the A4M Spring Congress. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for the invite, and I'm so glad to share with you. I'm from Mexico, and uh, Mexico City, actually. That's where I live and work. I have my practice there. And uh, nowadays, I, do, I got into the biotech development. So your training then medically, what specialty? OK, I did the, the, the fellowship. Actually, I'm an advanced fellow by A4M. I uh, started back in 2007. Oh, wow. I became an advanced fellow, uh, I think the youngest doctor to graduate as, a, as, a, as an MD in 2009. Then I continued with a uh, stem cell uh, um, fellowship here at A4M as well. And then obviously I continued with uh, my research and my clinical development, uh, getting involved uh, with certain different new biotechnology uh, developments. I'm blessed to be part of uh, BioQuark, an American laboratory, uh, and we are isolating a unique molecule, uh, a polypeptide, that is uh, helping people. It, it happens in nature, you know. Uh, that's why Dr. Gordon, back in 2012, won the Nobel Prize, demonstrating the cells reprogramming in a very specific amphibian uh, species. This amphibian can regrow limbs, but not only limbs, but also central nervous tissue, eyes, and other tissues within the body. So we as humans, we cannot, we're not capable to do something like that, right? right. But some species in nature can, can, can do it. Reptiles, amphibians, mm -hmm. tardigrades, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, jellyfish can do that. Yeah. Is it due to a this molecule you're mentioning, is it different pathways, is it both? Yeah, I mean, it's a microRNA. So beyond stem cells and regenerative medicine, uh, nowadays we're, we're getting to see a lot of translational medicine based on the uh, pre-medical application into animals and its uh, safety um, outcome. So from the moment that patients with no options get the need of getting something different, out of what they get to see, not only related to the ordinary medical practices, but also functional and somehow uh, regenerative medicine. So they come to us and, and get to get an option with us. So far, we're treating patients with uh, spinal cord injuries. We're treating patients with uh, cerebral palsy, some patients with Parkinson's, and some other patients that were meant not to be treated in the way we're treating them. Uh, and just an example, cochlear degeneration. There's nothing you can do for a cochlear degeneration. And we're, uh, uh, we're getting to see really good outcomes with the patients we've treated. I mean, patients from all over the world, not only from my country. I was just uh, gonna ask. Yes, Europe, Central America, South America, uh, uh, from uh, the US as well. And Asian patients are uh -huh. some of the patients we've treated. And the no option patient cohort that you just uh, alluded to, is it, these are biological reasons or regulatory or both? Yeah, both. Yeah. Both. We're um, innovating uh, in, two, in two ways. I mean, obviously, I'm the, the clinical developer or international clinical developer for BioQuark. And uh, the sister company is Regenerage. Regenerage Clinic is meant to help those patients at uh, two poles, the prevention the advanced prevention, wellness, mm -hmm. and the no option patients. The no option patients are those are, that are, are known by science, medical uh, disciplines, and or, or other fields related to health, that they have no option, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, getting to the spinal cord injury um, is a very hard field because you can feel and you can uh, experience that sensation from patients about what they're suffering, I mean, every single day. Yeah. So uh, we call it compassionate medical procedure. And when you mention about, uh, you know, the legal stuff, we are innovating into that as well. We are creating a legal shelter, got it for the head of the legal department of uh, Regenerate, 
in Mexico where we're doing this, um, we created this legal shelter that allows us to use products from different countries, in this case from the U.S. We get the allogenic mesenchymal stem cells from the U.S. Yeah. as well bio, uh, bioquantin, which is the molecule we are isolating in BioCork, um, to import it and apply the, this, uh, well, combine the treatments to apply them into humans. You know, that's mm -hmm. part of the translational medicine uh, from animal models to human application. So basically that's what we do and uh, we are so happy and, and also patients are so happy about the, the outcome so far. Yeah, I was sitting on your lecture and I believe you had a video, not sure the condition of the patient, but severely disabled, epileptic. I, I showed two videos. I mean, uh, He was in a wheelchair towards the end. Yeah, uh, uh, one of them is, uh, those are the most known cases so far. Uh-huh. A cerebral palsy case, uh, but we treated uh, the patient 12 years after. I mean, uh, this young boy suffered a lot, and obviously his family. Uh, he's an American citizen, he, uh, they live in Illinois, mm -hmm. and their life changed. I mean, with those tiny improvement that they experienced for the first year and then the second year, this is the third year of treatment, they are uh, very glad about what they're getting to see. Not only uh, the physical improvement, but as well somehow the cognition uh, uh, in, in their child. The second case was about a, a very well-known case in Mexico related to spinal cord injury. A total section, he's 36 years old, and he experienced uh, something really bad. He fell from uh, nine meters height, and uh, he got a, a fracture, a luxation as well, at T12 L1. Mm -hmm. So his prognosis was pretty bad. Nowadays, he, is, he uh, improved his quality of life, uh, getting back certain functions. I mean, sphincters control, uh, muscle mass that has grown uh, every single day, it's been growing, and as well, movement, okay? He has the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity back to, to his both limbs, and actually he's getting married next month because he has sexual life, he experience, he's experiencing even orgasms, and they're planning to have family. I mean, it, his life changed, totally changed, according to the, the prognosis, the poor prognosis he had at the beginning. So two, two years after, we're, we're uh, getting to see these outcomes. So the good thing about this is that we're making these treatments cheaper, faster, yeah. and ambulatory, all of them. We don't perform surgeries, but we treat them from within the spinal cord. So we have uh, experienced really good um, you know, a few side effects, some clonus um, and involuntary movements in both limbs, but uh, it's part of the regeneration. I mean, it's neuroinflammation, it happens. It's been reported in different literature, yes. But with, in this case, as we created the legal shelter, we're treating patients with different diseases, Parkinson's disease, some patients with uh, uh, some uh, genetic diseases as well patients with cochlear degeneration. Uh, I mean, it's not only related to spinal cord injuries. Yeah. So far, it's the most experienced case what, that we have. But it's not that simple to analyze a new molecule, and especially microRNA, which is something beyond stem cells. It's even getting to the molecular level where you can restore human DNA. Not only what, what you eat or what you drink, what, uh, I'm not talking about the environment, I'm talking about from within your DNA. That's what this polypeptide is meant to help to restore and regenerate and also repair as it, as it happens in this Senapus Levis uh, frog. You're gonna say, a frog? Yes. That's the reason why Dr. Gordon won the Nobel Prize in 2012. So it's DNA's own intrinsic healer. Somehow, yeah. It helps for this, uh, you know, the signaling. So the signaling is, is getting back to it, it was. It's like talking about science fiction, but it's happening. Yeah. We're going deeper into, I mean, from, from tissues to cells to treat uh, to the molecular level, even human DNA. You, you, can, you can tell, I mean, Chinese are editing human beings. Gene editing is there. It's absolutely Synthetic biology fiction. is there. So we're getting right. into a new, 
new, you know, new era where we are going to be getting to know about this every single day more and more. Right. Absolutely fascinating, Dr. Osario. Yes, it is. I'm, I love what I do. I can imagine. Thank you so much for your time today and for speaking with us here at the 4M event. Thank you for